So you've been doing digital for a while. Yeah. I started out in media planning yeah. and buying um, and worked on some really non-traditional accounts um, and did stuff um, back before everyone was really in the social space, but creating mobile apps. Um, broadcast extensions where you're mm -hmm. really focused on creating digital content and extending them into the social space. So it really gave me kind of insight into um, what was up and coming and how the landscape and the space was changing and thinking about things in a completely different way and knowing consumer behavior was changing. Uh, so it was really fun to be able to work on brands that were really pushing the envelope mm -hmm. um, and it just led me kind of into a, a, a different non-traditional type of role. And so we pushed the envelope quite a bit. Yes. And now we're here and the envelope is open, yeah. right? In many respects. Yeah. And now things are moving even faster than we all expected. Yeah. Um, it's tough to keep up. So looking at this year, of what's available this year, yeah. specifically in mobile, Yeah. what are you excited about? What do you find to be incredibly interesting that you, you, know, that you want to share with your clients? get them to use and the like. What's, what's your, what are you passionate about in the element of mobile this year? Yeah, I would say it's not just thinking about it as a channel. What's our, you know, what's our mobile strategy? What's our social strategy? What's our e-commerce strategy? We're finally, I think we heard a number of people talk about the importance of planning holistically and it's not, is it mobile first, but it's mobile only. And we know that's how consumer behavior is shifting. So what I'm most excited about is really getting our clients to take a step back and think of things holistically and focus on the consumer and understanding their journey and where they're spending their time and that when they are on these platforms, when they're on Snapchat, they're not thinking about is this a mobile app or is this a social app? They're just thinking about this is content and these are friends and people and brands that I want to connect with and I want value added to my life. So I'm excited about brands and, and getting our clients to truly take a step back and take a holistic approach and really lean into that consumer behavior and let that drive their strategic approach. Uh, and then the channels will follow based on where they're, where they're spending their time versus beginning to silo things. So when you get into that, then analytics and reporting and all of that becomes a challenge in terms of attribution when you begin to silo mobile versus you know, uh, desktop versus um, you know the media team versus social, and it just becomes so much more challenging to tell that story and demonstrate the success that uh, you're collectively trying to achieve with your clients. So, content marketing is an important part of your job. Yes. And part of your passion too. Yeah. Yeah. And you like creating content for, for clients. Yeah. And given the fact that as we get toward the next generation of consumers, yeah. Generation Z, um, mobile becomes primary it yeah. really is mobile only yeah. um, what do you what, what's going to be the fun part of that you know that it you're going to you know primarily and only in some cases reach that consumer for your clients yeah and where does content marketing from your perspective fit in there where's the fun part i mean we know it fits in yeah, yeah. but where's the fun part um i think the fun part is is being agile and being able to do that really quickly and on the fly um, because and that's stuff I, I would say agencies and brands as a whole are struggling with right now shifting that mindset from you know investing in building these beautiful uh, 30 second spots you have the widens you have these agencies and the space that are great at these anthemic pieces that you can invest hundreds of thousands millions of dollars into but now you have to think about doing that all the time um, and you know we as an agency are adjusting to that and putting solutions in place in order to um, meet consumers in all of those different channels so what I'm excited to see is how you know we as marketers adapt to that and become much more agile in that content development I think what's going to be most critical is making sure that you're staying true to the brand and what they have the authority to own because I think a lot of times when you think of the agility and the quickness and the responsiveness to what's happening, whether that's culturally, um, when you think about Twitter and people accessing Twitter or whatever it happens to be, you just want to capitalize on that immediately. But at times, brands don't have the authority to, to own that space, right? People don't mm -hmm. associate sure. right, right. the brand with you know XYZ trend that's happening. So I'm excited for um, the quickness and the speed of that and mm -hmm. how we all adapt, but at the same time making sure that we're holding true to, to who the brands are. Um, and pushing back on our clients that it's, you know, yes, speed is great, but making sure that it maps back to what you're trying to achieve and who you are.